a name of a name that could define Indian wrestling in the years to come. Youngster Bajrang Ponia versus Japan's Takatani. It's the men's freestyle 65 kg gold medal bout. Manish, they are both youngsters. 24 years old is the Haryana youngster Bajrang Punia. And just 23 years old is Daichi Takatani who's aiming for the 2020 Olympics. And there's Hussein Karimi, the, the Iranian coach of the Indian team. He's given lots of instructions. And Bajrang Punya, who's beaten three wrestlers on the way, the Indian crowd on their feet cheering him on. And here's a man for the future, Daichi Takata. From the Indian point of view, with two-time Olympic medalist Sushil Kumar failing to impress all hopes now rest on Bajrang Punia to bring home some yellow medal at the 2018 Asian Games. Bajrang Punia last time was in the 61 kilograms final. And we start. Bajrang. Will Indian eyes be smiling after six minutes? That's to be seen. Bajrang Punia, of course, is no stranger to medal winning moments. He's won the World Championship Bronze in 2013. He also won the silver medal at the 2014 Asian and Commonwealth Games. His Haryana Glap grappler has won gold medals at the Commonwealth Championships in 2016 and 17 at Singapore and South Africa, respectively. Glorious CV so far. Can he add an Asian Games gold medal to the kitty? He's got what it takes. Is it destined to happen? He's got a lovely hold. He's got two points. Two points. It seems that... Uh, Daichi Takatani had managed to squeeze his way out, but now he's applying the leg hold, the leg scissors, piling on the points. Two more points, he's 4-0 ahead. Yes, uh, Bajrang Punia showing signs of uh, glimpses of Yogeshwar that he's trained under Yogeshwar. 6-0 now to the Indian, en route to a gold medal at the Asian Games. This could be... India's big moment on day one of the Asian Games 2018. What a phenomenal start. It's a sensational beginning for Bajrang Punia. Just one minute, 15 seconds, and now Takatani has to go into attack. He's from a wrestling family. Of course, Bajrang Punia also, his father initiated him into wrestling. He took part in all the Akharas in the villages of Haryana and joined his guru, Yogeshwar Dutt who must be watching very closely. Now Takatani trying to get a comeback, but Bajrang Punia, some excellent defense. This is very dramatic. Could be a turning point in this bout. Can Bajrang Punia escape? Bajrang Punia is giving it everything. The Japanese trying desperately to, to forge a comeback. He's trying everything he can. It's a bit of a surprise. He looks uh, a bit perplexed. Two points in Japanese. Uh, Hossein Karimi telling him he's caught defensive. That can be a mistake. Ibrahimi, the Iranian referee, says fight on. And he goes for the leg again. The Japanese lightning quick. Great reflexes. Bajrang Punia selected for the Asian Games without a trial because the wrestling federation felt he was too superior to the other wrestlers. And has he proved them right or what? Well, they felt the same for Sushil Kumar also. That was too wrong. Well, maybe Bajrang Punia is 50% uh, is making a comeback. 6-4 now. The Japanese wrestler is now starting to make a comeback. 45 seconds left in this round. Still a two-point lead. Not enough. Cannot rest easy on it. No, not at all. He's making a great comeback. So, you know, the psychological ascendancy has shifted somewhat. He's brought a, a sense of change to his wrestling. He's now a thinking wrestler. In fact, he's tweeted, Zindagi badalne ke liye ladna padta hai aur asaan karne ke liye samajna padta hai. How much of that samaj, that understanding can he bring to the play? To his game today, 23 seconds left. The Japanese wrestler is filing, fighting valiantly. Oh, this is top quality wrestling. Gold medal at stake. Yes, it's absolutely top quality wrestling against two highly talented youngsters, 24-year-old Bajrang Punia and uh, Daichi Takatini of Japan, who's 23 years old. Uh, the referee, Brahmi, says no point to either come to the center of the ring. Just four seconds left, so I think the first round will end with Bajrang Punia having the points advantage, 6-4. He's got 30 seconds to think of what he'll do in the remaining three minutes. 
He spent years training under four-time Olympian Yogeshwar Dutt. And it was Yogeshwar Dutt who encouraged Bajrang Punia to step up to the 65 kg category. And it's been a sensational 180 seconds of action in this gold medal encounter. Yes, these are the holes right in the beginning, in the first 60 seconds, where it seemed the Indian wrestler was very dominant. But after that, it is Takatini who's made a comeback. Remember, he equalizes at 6 all, the ascendancy is with him. Bajrang Puni has to be very cautious. Start, second round, Manish. Stands at 5 feet 5 inches, Bajrang Punia. Can his stock in the Indian wrestling market rise at the end of the next 165 seconds? 1.25 billion hopes rest on the shoulders of this young man from Jajjar Haryana. Can he do it tonight? The Japanese wrestler has made a comeback. But a lovely flip by Bajrang Punya. He's avoided the trouble. Now looking to get points himself, but still clinging on like a leech is the Japanese. He's pushed Punya out of the ring. Does he get a point on that? Yes, it's six all. It's not yet over, Manish. The coach's face says it all. And if the score remains this at the end of it, Punya will have to be happy, will have to settle for a silver. He's starting to make a comeback now. He's got the leg hold, which he hadn't got for some time. He's got two points here. 8-6. Can he make it count with 1 minute 50 seconds left? Takatini, I think, relaxed a bit. And that could prove to be his downfall, but the referee has said stand up. Bajrang Punia works as a travelling ticket examiner with Indian Railways. Can he get that golden ticket at the end of the remaining 1 minute 40 seconds? Yes, Northern Railway man. Uh, Bishambar was also a uh, railway, got a silver medal in the World Championships in 1967. But here, it is Bajrang Punya. Can he get India's first gold medal in the 2018 uh, Asian Games? Takatini is trying to turn him over. This is a battle royal, a great bout. It's a pity there's going to be one loser in this bout. Well, his family moved to Sonepat to help his career. Is he going to respond with, a, with an Asian Games gold medal? No better finish than that. The whole of India is looking at this man. With a million and hope and more hopes. And lots of Indians at the stadium also on their feet. Cheering them on. We are into the last 60 seconds. A dramatic finish. Bajan Punya has the ascendancy now. But can he be turned over? This could be trouble. The hand has been raised. Bajan Punya has he got two points here. He'll be, it's eight all but ten eight. So the last two points have come to Bajrang Punya. If he can hold on now, the gold medal is for India. And we'll hear the melodious tunes of Janaganamana in a little time. One, 30 seconds. One hand on the gold medal. It's a big day. It's no more a photo finish. 22 seconds left. The countdown has begun for celebrations to start in India. Oh, the coach knows this is the danger time. Bajrang Punya wasn't active enough. He got passive on the top. And so, 22 seconds is a long time in wrestling. For Bajrang Punya, it will be all eternity. And if he does have to settle for a silver, he'll remember this moment and rue it for the rest of his life. Can Bajrang Punya protect that two-point lead? Ten seconds, eight, and counting down. This is a photo finish. It's a sensational finish. Can Bajrang Punya do it? The answer, of course, is... Yes! It's gold! Finally, it's gold and glory for this man from Haryana. It's India's first gold medal at the Asian Games 2018. Bajrang Punya has done it. The Japanese wrestler tried his best. He gave it all he had. But Bajrang Punya, too strong, too hot to handle. And here's the man who's done what he promised to Yogeshwar that he's got an Asian Games gold medal in his kitty. And that is the way India will remember day one of the Asian Games 2018 for a long, long time. What an absolute cracker we've had, Novi. Yes, five foot five inches tall, but over here he's like a giant. 
won it on points, 10-8, with a gallant defensive display in the end. Is there somewhat of a dispute? Uh, there, everybody's standing still. He hasn't been declared the winner, so I think the Japanese team has protested. Now it has been, yes, now. It's been, in fact, the points been given uh, to Bajrang Punya. And uh, Takatini fought gallantly. The young Japanese also has been excellent. It's a 24 karat gold performance from this 24 year old. And he's now worth his weight in gold. A subtly emulated Yogeshwar Dutt. And for the first time in this weight cate uh, category, we, India has got back to back gold medals. Yogeshwar Dutt in Incheon. And here he's being carried proudly by the Indian wrestling contingent. We spoke about how he carries the hopes of a billion and more people and is now being carried on his shoulders by his uh, support staff. And you see, this gold medal, it oozes confidence to the rest of the contingent also, that on the first day India's got a gold medal, they'll shoot up on the medals table. They were tenth when with just a bronze medal. Now with one goal, they'll uh, go ahead of Iran, who's, uh, uh, well, well, we'll move up a little. Now, this is the important moments in the bout. One goal, one bronze, and who knows, Pavan Kumar could get also a bronze. It's a shot in the arm. It's that positive injection that India was looking for. Have a look at the coach in the background. The Iranian coach, he knows it's been done. Well, Novi, it's a happy concoction of happiness, joy, relief, pride. And that's oh. the confirmation. But now the signature of all eyes. A new hero in Indian wrestling. The name is Bajrang Punia. Remember the name. Is this 24-year-old man from Haryana making India proud on the Asian stage? Lots of pictures for posterity. It's a historic moment. Will take a while to sink in. Please stand for the national. What a bye in the first round, followed by three sensational performances. Won them all by technical superiority.